EastEnders Shea Kilkazemi and Keegan Baker stabbed in devastating knife crime scenes that horrify viewers. As Keegan collapsed to the floor, he was shocked to see his best mate Shea Kill had also been stabbed by a revenge-driven gang. EastEnders viewers were horrified tonight when Shea Kilkazemi and Keegan Baker were stabbed in the street. The schoolboys were left fighting for their lives after a vicious gang took revenge in the start of a dark knife crime storyline. After stealing a bike, Keegan spotted one of the gang members in the street and followed them to the Queen Vic Alley, where he was suddenly stabbed by another thug. As Keegan collapsed to the floor, struggling to breathe due to the wound in his neck, he was shocked to see his best mate Shea Kill had also been stabbed and was bleeding profusely. The powerful scenes were devastating to watch but were highly praised by EastEnders fans for drawing attention to such a serious issue, with Shea Kill set to die later this week. Keegan stupidly stole a bike to get home to watch the royal wedding, not realizing that he was photographed by the gang, who were determined to get payback. When Keegan refused to return it, Shea Kill took matters into his own hands and took the keys for the padlock to return it himself to try and help his best friend. The situation soon spiraled out of control when the gang arrived in Walford looking for Keegan, who was forced to hide in the toilets. Nervous Keegan eventually plucked up the courage to leave but found that the bike gone and worried for his missing friend. Keegan was then stabbed, before discovering Shea Kill had also been attacked in powerful scenes praised by EastEnders viewers. One viewer said, Oh my God! EastEnders has left me shook. Oh God no that was horrible but remember let's get talking about it, added another. A third said, Can't wait for the next few episodes gonna be so heartbreaking but I'm so so proud of you for doing this. EastEnders viewers will be left in tears later this week when Shaquille tragically dies. The whole of Albert Square is left shaken by the horrific attack, with Mick Carter and Masood Ahmed amongst those thinking they could have done more to save Sheikh Hill. Carmel Kazemi is heartbroken when she arrives at hospital and discovers that her youngest son won't be waking up. Speaking about his dramatic exit, actor Shaheen Jafar Khali said, As an actor I was privileged to have a storyline with so much meaning underneath it and the chance to raise awareness about knife crime. It's such an important issue to tackle. On raising knife crime awareness, he added, the thing about the news is that it delivers facts and figures, it doesn't show the story and drama and timeline that comes after. It's not just as simple as one incident and that's it. It impacts people for a long time, if not forever, for everybody involved. It's scary how many young people carry a knife, so I want young people to watch this. It needs to change. If even one person can stop carrying a knife, we've made a difference.